What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with the Amstel Gold Race, one of my favourite classics of the season for sure. This year though, we do have a circuit just to the east of Maastricht. If you do enjoy the video today, make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you're new. And by the way, we are currently streaming over on Twitch over the next few weeks, the PCM World Cup. We had the first round yesterday of Inline. I'll leave a little clip right here. I think we can celebrate. Come on, let's go. Geraint almost gets the win. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you go and follow me over on Twitch to see when I go live next. But today, of course, we have the Amstel Gold Race and the Koenig Quick Step, as usual, with a stats lineup led by Ala Philippe. I'd, need I say more? But we have Wout Van Aert and Primoz Roglic, the duo for Jumbo Visma. And my shout to win in real life is going to be Primoz Roglic. That is my prediction for today. We have the likes of Pidcock, Quieto, Dylan Van Bala, Stuyven Mollema. I mean, you guys can see the full start list. No Pogaccia, but we do have Mark Hershey leading UAE. Fulsang is here, Dylan Toons. We have Shackman, interesting team as well for Bora. Hans Grower, GVA is here too. Mike Woods, you guys know the start list. We have Godou Valverde, who really has hit form as well as of late. Then we have a few outsiders really, but still the likes of Bargill, Wellens is here too. So a really strong lineup as you would expect. But today we will be going for Bora Hansgrower. We do have a few options as well. Shackman, we have Kelderman, Conrad, as well as young Ida Schelling, really talented rider who's done well recently at Brabant's Appeal. So we have a few options here. No massive outright favourite, but we have some cards to play. Away we go then here in the Netherlands, of course, and we don't get the best race days. Shackman not feeling good at all, sadly, uh, but Ida Schelling feeling okay on good form. Comrades and Gamper as well, but Kelderman, again, not on the best form. I think we'll just try and control the group with Burkhardt on the front. You know what? I changed my mind. One lap complete, of course. We're going to get to know this circuit I think 13 laps we have here uh, but I did decide to throw Marcus Burkhart in the breakaway we do have Simon Carr here really good rider for Marker of course Team Mobile legend right there but I think Burkhart better suited to dropping back later and helping our guys out if possible and it could be quite a big breakaway as well 80k to go then we're still waiting for this race to really click into gear the breakaway working well together but they haven't been allowed really off the leash of the peloton today our guys still conserving energy in the main group we're looking good just sat in waiting for the main moves 65 k to go as we cross the finish line a few more times to go of course round this repetitive circuit but 130 riders finally we are seeing the guys really start to up the tempo. We're not going to pace. We have Burkhart up the road, of course. So Burkhart is going to be the final rider caught from the breakaway. We may as well drop him back right now. And I think now we need to make it this as difficult as possible over the next few circuits. But I mean, 50k to go. I'm not sure it's going to be like this in real life. We have Cavagna, Burkhart, Luke Rowe, the like still in this group. It really hasn't been a very selective Amstel Gold race to this point, but we should start seeing with this increased rhythm, I think guys pushed out the back. 36k to go then. We don't have too many more sense of the Kalberg. Only one actually. I think we have to try and attack this time. 110 riders are here and uh, and you can see Shackman is going to protect Ida Schelling. He is feeling much better at this stage of the race with their current fitness. But now we are going to descend into the Kalberg and we will try and attack onto this, uh, onto this climb with Wilco Kelderman. Let's try and get Kelderman up the road. The rest of our guys are just going to try and sit in the wheels, really. We are now seeing other moves come across, though, to Wilco Kelderman. He is going to try and relay. Alaphilippe, Aaron Buru, and Wout Van Aert are trying to chase him down. We've really lit up this race right here with that move. The rest of our guys can just sit in the group behind with Kelderman, of course, up the road. And it's too early, I think, for Alaphilippe and Van Aert to go clear. So we still have lots of domestiques. Attacks is still going off, and Kelderman is not going to maintain this rhythm to the line but Van Aert's Aaron Buru and Warren Bargill are the next to try and attack hopefully the rest of our team can sit up Kelderman is not going to win this race but it does mean we don't have to do any pacing while Schelling is sat in with Comrade as well on his wheel sadly Kelderman is reeled in 23k to go but that move has definitely really lit up this race in fact let's try and tempo with Shackman like I said he's not 
winning today. Neither is Wilco Kelderman. Let's try and put Conrad and, and uh, Ida Schelling in the perfect position here. And we're now down to 48 at the front. Mateo Trentin is getting dropped as well. Also, I have noticed that Primoz Roglic, my prediction, is out the back alongside David Godu as well. DVB out the back. We have some major contenders. And I can't believe Roglic has been dropped there. They're already out the back. We are now entering the Kalberg for the final time. So Maxi Shackman coming 99 downhill. We want to be the first team into the foot of this final ascent of the Kalberg. We have Ida Skelling. We have Conrad Schelling. My apologies, but Alaphilippe cannot attack with this rhythm set by Maxi Shackman. Let's go on the attack this time with Patrick Comrade Alaphilippe tries to follow. Let's try and go with Ida Schelling as well. And look at that. Suddenly, we have three riders clear and two from our team. What on earth? Comrade Alaphilippe and Ida Schelling. Schelling can sit in the wheels right now. Wout van Aert is going to have to pull. And Comrade is going to try and take this group to the line. But you can see his energy is suffering already. Come on, Julian. Work with us. And such is the audacity of Julian Alaphilippe. He is going to try and attack away right now from two riders. Fair Fair play. I cannot follow that. Let's try and attack up to him with Ida Schelling. Should have probably followed there as Comrade is done for the day. Ida Schelling, let's work with Wout van Aert behind. We have Aaron Buru, Hershey as well. Let's try and work with these guys here. They are the better riders than us, that is for sure, um, in terms of really their reputation. So let's rely on Wout van Aert for a little bit. Hershey and Aaron Buru and Alaphilippe has gone clear. This is a very exciting finale right now, guys. Hershey leading this group will follow Wout van Aert. We're struggling for energy, that is for sure, as Tom Pickock is able to bridge up to this elite group at the front. 30 seconds is the gap to the guys behind. And we have a chance in this sprint. Ida Schelling can sprint as well. We have Van Aert, of course. Hershey, Pickock, Alaphilippe, Aaron Buru. It's not a slow group, but at this tempo, we are not going to make it to the line. So let's try it. Ida Schelling is going to make his bid to win the Amstel Gold Race. We make our move. We're not the best sprinter in that group, but we have such little energy. Van Aert is being relied upon behind. Surely we're not going to do this. Surely not. Oh my words. Can we take... Amstel Gold here with Schelling. We have such little energy and the attack from Wout van Aert may put pay to our chances, but they're still relying on him behind. Ida Schelling, he is completely done. 1k to go. We tried the attack. We went all in for the win. Can we hold on? No, we cannot. Wout van Aert is not going to take the win. Tom Pickock takes the win here in the Amstel Gold race. Hershey seconds. Van Aert settles for third. We take sixth place in the ends with Ida Schelling. Wellens takes the sprint from the group behind. What a race. We gave it our all. Not quite enough in the end. We could have probably settled for a sprint there, but I felt like there were faster guys in that group. Pickock manages to steal a win again from Wout van Aert. And really, he tried to get away from them. He couldn't get away. He didn't have enough left for the sprint. So Hershey and Pickock played it perfectly right there with Wout van Aert. But we gave our rule with Ida Schelling. Not quite there in the end, but really exciting finish. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And go follow me over on Twitch to follow the PCM World Cup. I'll see you guys very soon.